<laughs> Otario, Otario. <laughs> you know what that means? Pussy. <laughs> You see fruit in my eyes, you see nothing in my eyes, you little midget. You little skinny old Brazilian. You little bitch. What are you looking at? But you said you smell fear in him. Yes, there's a beautiful aroma that arouses me. Let's go a little bit closer. Don't, don't touch. Closer, let's go closer. I want to smell his pussy. I can smell your pussy as well. I was there July 11th. He was not. What's happening, guys? Supernova here, back with another video. And before I get into it, just want to let you guys know what I'm about to do is not only incredibly petty, it is also incredibly immature. And I'm gonna love every fucking second of it oh, oh my god is this gonna be fun because today what we're doing ladies and gentlemen is we're exposing and roasting beast of truth one of the biggest clout chasing pussy ass bitches i've ever encountered on a lovely little site known as twitter this was, I believe, my first encounter with this guy. I don't know anything about this motherfucker, for the record. The only thing I know about him is uh, from a time where Thrash and a bunch of other people were clowning him because he made some video talking about how he had, like, boxing gloves and a punching bag next to his bed. Other than that, I don't know anything about this motherfucker. But anyway, <laughs> here's how this whole fucking thing started. So a dare ago, he tweeted this dumb shit talking shit about PlayStation fanboys, and then he uh, put this little uh, meme up uh, where it's a scene from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where Will Smith is Xbox, and uh, Xbox is talking to the clown, which is PlayStation, talking about how, listen, uh, you suck, you know, nobody fucking likes you, this, that, the other thing. And uh, so I just replied, okay, then there is reality, and what's happened every console generation Xbox has participated in, whether you want to accept it or not. And I uploaded the intro I did for the PS5 reveal event three years ago. Uh, I'm going to put it up here for you guys to see again because it took me two hours to animate that shit. And <laughs> I'm going to show as many people as I can because it, it honestly did come out pretty cool. But anyway, this was the little meme that I had sent to him. And that's it. That's all I'd sent. Notice the lack of personal attacks in that tweet, because there wasn't any. It was just me posting that little, uh, that meme video. Well, a couple of guys started talking shit to him, making fun of him. Uh, one guy called him an angry little midget. Uh, another guy called him uh, a leprechaun. And, uh, so Beast of Truth decided to talk shit back to the guy that called him a leprechaun, except instead of just talking shit to him, he also targeted the dude's wife. He wrote, you PlayStation clout roaches always popping up in people's posts talking smack, getting personal, all because you're insecure about a failing video game console in the PlayStation. Which, failing, I, I, this dude's a fucking idiot. Uh, but aren't you the guy with the funny looking woman who looks spicy in every photo he takes? He's making fun of the way this dude's wife looks. And when I saw that, I thought to myself, whoa, 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 okay, that, that shit's over the line, right? Like, I, I think it's, you know, if someone's talking shit to you, you talk shit back to them, but you don't target their family. Their family didn't do anything to you. It's kind of, I don't know, for me, it feels like a bitch move. So I told him that it was a bitch move. So I wrote, are you really talking shit about his woman? Okay, wow. 
Okay, I'm going to need you to show us what your woman looks like immediately. Because you can't talk shit about someone else's woman without showing yours. Well, you can, but that's S-tier bitch shit. To which he replied, Unwrap your mouth from around his wang and tell us what it says and who he's talking about. Go fucking hypocrite. That's all PlayStation fanboys are with a little emoji of a roach. His English clearly isn't very good. I, t- I told you guys. He's a fucking idiot. Anyway. And anytime you're trying to get checked by me in front of your peers, like I do all PlayStation fanboys, I'll set a space. Let me know. Let the record show that he is the one that asked for a space. He's the one that says that we should do a space where he will check me in front of my peers. Anytime he wants, he will check me in front of my peers like he does to all PlayStation fanboys in the space. He asked for it. I didn't request it. I didn't bring it up. Beast of Truth did. And I replied, talking shit about each other's fair game. You don't go after their man or woman. Also, you check me? Bitch, you couldn't check the time if you lived in a fucking watch factory. And for the record, I just checked you for going after his girl like a bitch. He then replied, you can type all the bitches and post all the lame ass memes you want. That does not change the fact of how the world views you PlayStation Sims in real life who attack people because PlayStation is whack. Fact is, you know better than to debate live. Now keep typing. Once again, he brings up debating live. Debating what, you say? I don't know. We weren't talking about anything other than him going after that guy's woman like a bitch. He wants to debate who the fuck knows, right? So I write, debate what? We're not even talking about something to debate. Seems like you're clout chasing. To which he replies, you randomly popped up in my post like a common PlayStation clout roach. You've already called me names, so I'm returning the favor. Disagreeing with me that PlayStation is whack when it is. I reply, you keep talking. This is by very definition a debate. Let's go live. Once again, trying to get me to do this quote unquote debate live in spaces. Uh, I guess now he's saying a debate about whether or not PlayStation is whack, which is fucking stupid, but that's what he wants to debate now. Again, this is the third time he has asked for this debate. So I write, you want to have a debate about whether or not PlayStation is whack? You can't debate an opinion. I can provide data and statistics that undeniably show globally more people both prefer and choose PlayStation. That would be the end of the debate. He then replies... That's what I thought. Now keep typing. That's all you do. Just go enjoy that whack PlayStation. So I reply, you can't debate whether or not PlayStation is whack. Whether or not it is is entirely subjective. It's your opinion. You can't debate that. And he replies, let's go live and find out. There's a reason a certain fear exists in your heart when speaking to me. Because you know what it is I do to PlayStation fanboys. I'm offering you a taste of that. Yet you deny my proposition for you to prove me wrong. You hear this motherfucker? Uh, There's a certain fear that exists in my heart when speaking to him because I know what he does to PlayStation fans. Listen to this fucking idiot. Also, again, for the record, this is the fourth time he's requesting that we go live on Spaces. I then reply, I don't even know who the fuck you are outside of some guy with a punching bag next to his bed. And that's only because people were clowning your ass sharing a clip of you talking about your gloves and shit. Other than that, no fucking clue. He then retweets something that he tweeted somewhere else, I guess, and it says, Boy, stop trying to talk to me in comments because you're scared. Y'all PlayStation fanboys love looking for my attention until you get it. Now you're scared of a live debate. Y'all don't possess the intelligence to debate me live, so try to patty cake in comments. The fifth time he has asked for a live debate. I then reply, You can retweet yourself all day. You want to debate something that can't be debated, numbnuts. He then says, <laughs> are you ready for this shit? If I'm a bitch and a numb nuts, then your mama and every female you care about is one. Remember what I said, boy, whenever you man the fuck up and want me to do to you how I do the PlayStation fanboys you look up to live? Just let me know and I'll set it up. This is the sixth time he's trying to set up this live spaces debate. I then reply, this is your debate style. And he writes, that's what I thought. You'll all talk that internet tough shit, but the moment someone shows up that it's not Xbox gang versus PlayStation gang in real life, but you're just an oversensitive fanboy of a trash console and reality is different. It's gee-gee, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know. Again, clearly English must be this motherfucker's second language. It's honestly very hard to read this motherfucker's tweets because his English is horrible. But anyway, that's what he said. I then replied, 
You can't prove PlayStation is whack. All you can do is tell me why you believe it is. But if you really want to do a 1v1 on this shit, I'm free later today where you can tell me why you believe it is, and I can disagree with you, effectively ending the debate. So he writes, now we're cooking. What time? I'm on East Coast time, and by your own logic, all you do is give me your opinion on why PlayStation isn't whack, despite proof that it is, but let's save it for the debate. Again, evidence that it is, whatever. Again, this man is not very smart. Uh, what time are you available to do it between today and tomorrow? So I replied, it'll be at least two or three hours. I'm disabled and I got my caregiver here helping me take care of shit. They just got here and will usually be done in around three hours. He then replies, you're telling me all this as if I should care after you insulted me over a fucking PlayStation, which again, I never did. Uh, now I could be insanely savage right now and get personal with you like you did with me, but I'm like PlayStation fanboys, I have a heart so I won't. Just give me time and I got you. Now, I don't know about you, but that clearly sounded like he was saying that he could be savage right now and get personal by going after my disability, right? Like, that's what it sounded like. I don't know how you saw that, but to me, when I read that, it felt like, hey, if I wanted to right now, I could be an absolute piece of shit and go after your disability, but I'm not going to do that because I'm above PlayStation fanboys. But anyway, I replied, I'm explaining to you why it's going to be a few hours. I already said two to three hours, but I can't give you an exact time because it's dependent on how long this shit takes. That's why I tried explaining, but it's whatever. Also, you can be a savage all you want regarding my disability. Don't even care. And then he replied, and again, his, uh, some of these words, I, I think one of these words is supposed to be explained, but he wrote expound, but anyway, he wrote, I won't be a savage about your disability, and I'll expound to you exactly why, amongst many other things, you seem to have a gross misunderstanding of during the debate, which he spells incorrectly. Like I said, simply let me know what times you're available, uh, as only then can it be set up, so let me know later. And then say, also for the record, I didn't personally attack you because of a console, which is something he claimed I did. I said, I personally attacked you when you went after that other guy's wife. Look back through the timeline. He then replies, no, you shouldn't have personally attacked me at all because you don't fucking know me. Better yet, tell your PlayStation fanboy homie to not be so sensitive over a PlayStation. You both are wrong and attacked me over video games, period. But let's save it for the debate. So I responded with the meme of Billy Crystal saying, tissue <laughs> and, and holding out the tissue box he then wrote that's what i thought it's all about to be fun i want you to save all of your lame jokes gifts wit edge and insults for the debate don't use up anything now save it i want you a full power as soon as you're ready simply post a time and i'll set it up like listen to this motherfucker uh, first of all jokes gifts wit edge insults save all that for the debate that's not how you have a debate <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I was totally and 100% willing to have this guy set up the spaces and go in there and have this debate about why he thinks PlayStation is whack or whatever. Uh, but it was then brought to my attention that this motherfucker likes to play dirty. And if you noticed, he kept over and over again saying, let me know. I'll set it up. I'll set it up. Let me know. And the reason for that is in spaces, if you're the host... You can mute the other people. And what he likes to do is, on top of yelling over you, he likes to mute you so that you can't speak. Now see, I'm not cool with that. If he wants to yell over me, that's fine. I can yell over him. We can have a shouting match. I don't care about that. But you're not going to remove my ability to speak by fucking muting me. If we're going to have this debate or whatever the fuck you want to call it, we're going to do it in a place where we can both speak and nobody has their ability to speak removed. I think that's fair. So I scheduled the spaces and I told him, hey, I sent you a DM. I set it up for 4 p.m. your time. If you need me to push it back, let me know. He then replies, nope, I told you I'll set it up and even reiterated it multiple times before which you agreed to. I don't do the clout chasing off my name thing. So I'll set it up around 4.30 since I'll be out at 4, which is why I asked you for a time after you agreed. Notice he's claiming he doesn't do this clout chasing off his name thing. Like, I, I don't understand. If we do it in his spaces, it's probably going to be mostly his followers watching, but I can also share it with all of my followers. If we do it in my spaces, it's probably going to be mostly my followers watching, but he can also share it with all of his followers. So where is the clout chasing? Also, if you look at his follower count on Twitter, he's got roughly 1,500. 
I have 1,754. I have more followers than he does on Twitter. He also has a YouTube channel. Good for him. 135 subscribers. Good for him. I have 13,500. So, again, how am I clout chasing if I have, A, more followers on Twitter than he does, B, far more subscribers on YouTube than he does, and C, he is the one that keeps asking for this fucking live spaces. Uh, how am I the one that's cloud chasing? It doesn't make any fucking sense. So I write, cloud chasing? I have more followers than you. I heard you like to mute people and I don't play that shit. So we do it in my spaces or we don't do it at all. I already scheduled it. You scared to do it where you can't mute people? To which he replies, nope. Already myth busted that BS too, several times matter of fact. The only time I really have to mute people is when they are being disrespectful. As long as you're respectful like an adult, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Simple. I don't need you. You need me. Fuck out of here. I need him, ladies and gentlemen. I need his smaller follower count. I need his fucking anemic subscriber count on YouTube. That motherfucker hasn't even met the minimum requirements to get monetized on YouTube, which is a thousand subs. He's at a hundred and fifty, but I'm the one that's clout chasing. Oh, he, he doesn't need me. I need him. For what? For what am I trying to do here? What do I gain from doing it in my spaces versus his? Other than the fact that he can't fucking mute me. What do I gain? Nobody knows who the fuck he is. Cloud chasing. Who the fuck is this man? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. <laughs> anyway, I wrote, I don't need you for anything. At this point, you've run your mouth so much. I'm doing it whether you're there or not. You can show up and make your case or you can choose not to show up. That's on you. He then writes, Boy, you literally came to my post looking for my attention because you are irrelevant and I don't give a fuck about anything y'all post, which is why you don't see me on PlayStation posts, but y'all stay on mine. You won't be the first to make a space clout chasing off me and you won't be the last. Again, I'm making a space clout chasing off me? This man's a fucking idiot. And, uh, <laughs> I came to his post looking for his attention? No. I talk shit to him because he went after someone's wife like a bitch because he is a bitch. And uh, that's how this whole ball got started rolling. I wasn't looking for anybody's fucking attention. This fucking idiot. So I wrote, I've never made a space before, but you ran your mouth. Once again, clout chasing? I have more followers than you at 1,700 versus 1,400. I also have a YouTube channel with 13,500 subscribers. Plus, you suggested a debate. Exactly how would I be the one clout chasing? He then writes, Boy, you came looking for my attention while I was completely oblivious to your entire existence and couldn't care less. Now you want to use my name to attract attention to a space instead of keeping your word as a man? The textbook definition of a clout chaser. And he posts this fucking definition. Uh, again, once again, I'm looking for his attention. I'm trying to use his name to attract attention. Who the fuck is he? Nobody knows who the fuck he is. Beast of truth. If you're listening, and I hope you are, because I'm going to send this video to you. I'm going to post this video on your fucking Twitter timeline. Nobody knows who the fuck you are, you idiot. I can't clout chase with your name because your name is worth nothing. You are nobody. And I'm not trying to fucking rag on you for that. I'm also nobody. Nobody knows who the fuck I am. I'm some random dude on YouTube. I'm some random dude on Twitter. I'm a nobody. But you're an even lesser nobody than me. Nobody knows who the fuck you are, you dumb son of a bitch. I then reply, who suggested doing this Twitter spaces debate bullshit? Oh, that's right. You. So you can claim I'm clout chasing, but all the evidence points to you clout chasing. More like pussy of truth, if you ask me. He then replies, you're calling people names, yet want people to feel sorry for you by telling them your disabled information. You could have literally kept to yourself, and they wouldn't know, which proves you're a clout chaser. Fuck out of here, boy. That name calling doesn't change the truth. You're scared. So I reply, scared? I set up the space where you're free to check me all you want, but you won't have access to a mute button. Uh-oh. Looks like the beast is scared. He then just retweets some of the dumb shit he already said before. To which I reply, you can show up or not. You want to check me, right? You destroy ponies and all this other shit you've been saying, right? Then come and fucking do it. 
or shut up, bitch. He then replies, hey, stop talking to me, you fucking coward. Literally went back on your word. Thus, everything you say is trash to me. Like that PlayStation. Now run along and make y'all little space and cry about me because you have nothing else interesting to say as PlayStation has no games to play. Went back on my word? What word? Did I promise him that we would do it in his spaces? Like, what, what word did I go back on? And honestly, even if I had given him my word that he could set it up and we'd do it in his spaces after learning that he likes to fucking mute people, I don't give a fuck if I give him my word. We're not doing that shit. But I told him, hey, the space is right here. Come right here. If you want to come check me, you're such a big bad motherfucker. The space is open. Come fucking do it. There's nothing stopping you from coming into the space. But anyway, I replied, big bad tough guy, huh? Check ponies all the time, huh? Yeah, fucking right. He never actually replied to that tweet, but as it got closer to the time that the space was gonna happen, I wrote, you got 15 minutes to change your mind. Also, don't even think about blocking me because I screenshot everything. I got the receipts of your bitchness. You said save it for the debate. You want me at full power. Seems you were lying. And that's the end of that particular thread. Uh, he sent some other shit back and forth with me on other shit because I kept fucking posting a link to the spaces. I was like, you gonna fucking come through? Like, it's right here, let's go. Uh, but he bitched out every time. Of course, his reason is he doesn't do clout chasing and uh, he doesn't want me to use his name uh, to gain followers. What kind of pussy ass fucking reason is that? Like, my reason for not wanting to do it in his spaces it was brought to my attention that he likes to fucking mute people so you can't speak. And I'm not trying to fucking go over there and have someone remove my ability to fucking speak. His reason for not wanting to do it in my spaces? I'm going to use his name for clout. I'm going to use his name to attract followers. That's the reason he won't do it in my spaces. I won't do it in his because he will mute me if he doesn't like what I'm saying. That's a legitimate reason to not do it over in his fucking space. He won't do it in mine because I'm going to use his name to gain followers. Bitch, please. That's about the biggest pussy ass fucking excuse I've ever heard in my life. You won't do it here because I might get some followers by using your name, even though nobody knows who the fuck you are. What a fucking bitch. And uh, it was actually confirmed to me that... Muting people is exactly what he does. I've had people come up to me after the space saying that they tried to talk to him or he asked them to go into his space to debate and he did exactly what I assumed he was going to do. Just muted them and fucking talked over them. That's all he did. And he was the one insisting on doing these spaces debates. He was the one insisting on doing this debate in the space only to fucking mute them and talk over them the entire goddamn time. I had multiple people come up and tell me their experience with Beast of Fucking Truth. I also got a real nice goodie because someone sent me a video clip where he actually admits that he goes into Twitter spaces, that he creates these Twitter spaces because he was trying to increase the number of followers he has on Twitter. I think that by definition, ladies and gentlemen, is a fucking clout chaser. Also, I want you to look at what I titled my fucking spaces. I titled it, Beast of Truth Proves PlayStation is Whack, because that was the reason that he was going to be there. You want to see what he fucking titled his? PlayStation fanboy triggered. Xbox got him going crazy. H how fucking delusional is this motherfucker? Like, I wasn't triggered at all. I just wasn't going to do it in a space where he can mute me. And I offered him to come into my space. I was like, hey, I made this space. Come in. You you're going to check me, right? You check all these ponies. Come do it. Come fucking do it. He would not enter the space where he was unable to fucking mute people. Because he's a fucking bitch. And I think I saw him going around trying to call me a coward for not joining his space. I'm a coward for not hopping in his space. Man, fuck him. Again, Beast, if you're watching this, fuck you. Fuck you because you know what you were doing. You were trying to fucking set me up and I didn't fall for it. I have the people who told me that you set them up. Oh yeah, I got multiple people talking about the experience with Beast of Truth. I got people that sent me videos explaining their experience having a debate with you, Beast of Truth, you fucking piece of shit. For anyone watching this, know that Beast of Truth is not trying to have an actual debate with you. If he asks you to hop in spaces to have a debate or to hop in spaces so you can have a little spat or discussion or whatever the fuck it is, 
That's not what he's trying to do. He has no intention of having an actual conversation with you. He just wants to be able to fucking mute you and talk over you and try to make you look fucking dumb. Let it be known. Beast of Truth is a clout-chasing, pussy-ass bitch. And now listen, Beast of Truth, if you're watching... I'm still interested in having this quote-unquote debate because I'm really curious to know what you were going to say to prove that PlayStation is whack. I really want to know what your argument would have been. So again, I offer you, if you want to have this discussion, we can do it in a space that I set up where no one will get muted. I'm not clout chasing off of you. My name actually holds more value than yours in both Twitter and YouTube. If anything, you joining my spaces, you talking with me at all, benefits you more than it benefits me. So if you want to have this discussion, in good faith, we can do it in my space where no one will be muted. Or you can decline which is just further evidence of the fucking little pussy that you are. Because you are. You're a fucking pussy, and you're a fucking coward. There is no legitimate reason to not come into my space and have this quote-unquote debate. Really? The reason is you're worried I'm going to gain some followers off your name? And if I did, so fucking what? We're there to have the debate, aren't we? Who gives a shit if I gain followers off you or if you gain followers off me? Why does that fucking matter? That is the dumbest fucking excuse I've ever heard in my life. Just admit it. You're a fucking bitch and you're scared. Just admit it because I I already know. I know that you're scared. Just like Conor McGregor and Aldo. I could smell your fear. I know what a pussy you are. The second you fucking started demanding that we do it in your space and I found out you like to mute people, I instantly knew the kind of fucking bitch that you are. So if you want to have this conversation, we can have it, but we do it in my space where we both get to speak and nobody gets muted. If someone gains followers off the other person, who fucking cares? That shit doesn't fucking matter. What matters is the conversation where we can both fucking speak. I can't trust you to do it in yours because you're a little fucking mute happy piece of shit. So if you want to do it, if you want to prove how badass you are, if you want to prove how you just crumple PlayStation fanboys in your fucking little itty bitty hands, if you want to prove how fucking hard you are, because that's all you kept fucking saying, and you're going to check me, like all the other PlayStation fanboys you check, if you want to come put another notch on your fucking child size belt, then come through. Come through, let's have a discussion. Or, like I said, decline, which is just more evidence of the fucking little pussy-ass bitch that you are. Now, anyone watching this video, do me a favor. Send this video to Beast of Truth and let him know that you know what a clout-chasing piece of shit that he is. Again, for anyone who happens to encounter this piece of shit on Twitter, if he asks you to go into his spaces for a debate, or discussion, or whatever, just know that that little man has no intention of having an actual conversation with you. And don't fucking do it. But once again, beast of truth, you fucking little bitch. Door's open. Door's open. Anytime you want, let me know, and I will set up a space where we can have this debate. Or you can continue to duck me, and I will continue to call you a little clout-chasing pussy-ass bitch. That's all I got for you guys on this one. And that's the video, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Have you run into Beast of Truth on Twitter? If you have, what was your experience? And remember, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next Supernova.